Hey, what is up, fellow Greg Starnell here, back at it with another reaction for you guys. Today, we're going to be checking out Black Sails, Season 4, Episode 8. Oh, man, there's only a couple more episodes left, and last episode was definitely another crazy one. Oh, man, the show's really good. So, last episode, we see that uh, Jack ended up going to see Eleanor's uh, grandmother. Well, grandfather at first, he declined. And then he met up with the grandmother and she's like, you know what? I'll help you. But on one case, he has to take one out. It's freaking crazy. Then we see Billy he ends up joining up with the governor. And, uh, you know, he has a plan to split them apart. Flint and Silver, that is. How? Because Maddie is still alive. They send them a letter saying, hey, Maddie's alive. You know, come and get her. You know, hand us the, the gold and stuff. And that is dividing them uh, crazy. So Silver wanted to trade the valuables for Maddie. And we see the queen and uh, Flint was like, yeah, we can't do that. So they're deciding to actually go and try to save her. But little did they know, Silver has brought all the pearls and the valuables with them. So it's about to get heavy. And uh, I am super pumped to watch this episode and see what happens. Because somebody is dying. At the end of this show, someone's dying. So uh, let's go ahead and start it up. So before we start, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see this full length reaction, check us out on Patreon. All right, let's go ahead and start this episode up. Uh -oh. Who is that? Uh oh, the hell is he looking for? If this plan to secure the cash ends badly for me, you can be certain it will end badly for you. All right. <laughs> yeah, up on the gates and Flint. Yeah, they're like best friends. It will happen with Flint and Silver. You will lead them there, and they will follow you. Okay. Some special place where you can trap them, I guess. What if the result of this war isn't beyond the horror? What if it is the horror itself? Have you given this any thought at all? He ain't worried about that. He worried about going to Boston. <laughs> he wants to take it to him. Cash is critical to our war, but so is she. Critical to holding our alliance together. I think that you are the best of us. I, he might really mean that. Here's the thing, though. Silver definitely wants to hand this freaking gold and stuff over. Maddie would be so upset with him if he really did that. Talking about us like it's a thing. I don't know who broke it first. But it broke. Right? Ain't no coming back. There ain't no putting it back together again. Exactly. It's like, she finally got over you, and then you want to come back? It's like, nah, I'm good. All I'm going to do is collect. The pirates are gone, sir. Their intent is to cause terror and destruction until civilization simply ceases to function. The threat the defense of civilization is not your responsibility, sir. Oh, he's talking back. If they see pirates return here, if they see skirmishes begin again on this island, and they know that it was because you invited it, then you are going to have a mutiny on your hands, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, because they think, I guess they think, all right, the pirates are left, the threat is gone, they're not coming back. Oh, no, they're coming back. What is it? Oh, no. Crap. He called me. How's that possible overnight? Oh, there he is. Billy know what they're about to do. They about to shoot homeboy? Oh, man. Oh, damn. Yo, I'm jumping. If I was those guys, I would jump in the water. I'm not standing there while you shoot me. I'm hopping in the water. You're going to shoot me. You're going to shoot me while I'm in the water. Go get it. Bring it up here right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your plan failed. We're moving on to my plan. Oh, buddy. Do not repeat your order. Do not think about it. Holy crap. Look at him. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Yo, all the men gonna see that? Oh no. 
They're gonna have a they're gonna have a talk in the down below, I tell you that. Wherever he's going, we follow him. Oh, Flint's like, all right, what am I gonna do next? You know, Flint thinking of something. Eleanor promised me passage to London. Release from my service. He wants to go home. I might return home. If I help you, will you help me? Okay, she's trying to get her ass home. Tried your way. I did trust you. Uh-oh. But I'm through wagering with her life now. If what it takes to secure her release is to turn over the cash, I'm very glad I brought it with us. Damn. Now Julius is back in that camp, pointing to a hole in the ground, telling anyone who'll listen, this is what it looks like when you trust a pirate. Yes, yep. he had nothing. Yep. I'm going to do it. I do not expect your understanding, but I demand your support as my friend. I don't know if this is going to happen. What's gonna happen? Oh my god. Do I have it? Yes. Wow. Very surprised. But he could be just saying it just to say it. <laughs> While he's thinking up something, how can I twist this? Because definitely is true. Once they give that school, that the all the jewels and stuff away, all the alliance is pretty much dead. The guy, the catcher Freeman was like, hey, we can't trust these pirates. And that's one way you can't trust them. If they're gonna give you all Give away all their freaking uh, money. How can they fight a war with no money? In a venture to acquire and reform NASA. So now all that's left to know about this venture is who is going to lead it. Oh. Oh. That is a good question. I'd like to put you in charge of NASA. Oh. On this particular issue, the world won't much care for what I'd like. You need a figurehead. And he'd be most amenable to doing whatever else you told him to do. <laughs> yep. You think he would listen to me as an advisor? Well, as a wife. You think he would listen to me as a wife? Yep. <laughs> uh oh. Our partnership may move forward fully formed. Thinking about it. Are you ready to do it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe she's thinking, hey, if Eleanor can get married, I can get married. I don't know. That's crazy, though. Get Max getting married. But it makes sense. They're going to need a a guy to be there and, she, you know, control. She can control everything going behind the scenes. If you leave him alive long enough, he's going to make you pay for it. He won't move against me. This will pass. And that's the end of this conversation. Yeah, right. If you don't think he's going to do it, but you should still be on the defensive. Like, he, there's a chance that he might still do it. She has committed to the plan. To me. The moment we have been working towards since we arrived. So why did you know like that? <laughs> I told her I could not agree to it. Oh. Why would you do that? Right? Why? Because I refuse to situate a man in a position where he might interfere one day with my ability to repair things with you. Oh, wow. Really? That's crazy. That's wild. Oh, look at her putting her hand out. That's crazy. She loves her that much to the fact that she won't do the deal because it might mess up her trying to get back with Anne. Wow. That's wild. Oh. It's no accident that Betty chose it. Mr. Silver, I fear, is compromised in this regard. I find myself in need of a new partner. Oh. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh. Oh crap. Is he gonna just let him go? I die. Or you die. Either way, he's gonna take me to blame for it. Oh. He won't put you out of us until he sees you for what you are. Go. Yep. He's like, hey, I can I can stop you. 
They gonna blame me, so go ahead and do it. So he can see that he screwed up. Do you see it now? Yep. Uh oh. I six of my men after him. Let's track Captain Flint and retrieve the cash. What else did you tell them to do? You know it's to kill him. And Bill is like, yes. <laughs> He's finally gonna die. I don't think I don't think Flint can take Israel in the fight. I don't think he can. And if he like if he can, he can just barely beat him. I think Israel is like probably one of the top fighters. I instructed them to kill Captain Flint. Yeah. Mm, man. Told you somebody dying. Somebody dying. All right, that was the episode. Oh, it's crazy one. Definitely setting up for some craziness to happen next episode. But what we happen here? Uh, we see that uh, we see Billy and the governor and they're talking and uh, Billy has a plan for uh, when they meet and uh, it's on some island that, uh, you know, that him and uh, what was it? Uh, Avery uh, was there and he ended up killing Avery or something like that. So they have a plan in motion. Also, we see the governor and he's got a little, you know, bit of pressure on him because it seems like. All the other members uh, of that, you know, that group are definitely upset with him because, uh, you know, they want to try to, you know, show up the place, make sure everything is running smoothly. And, and he's still worrying about this deal and, you know, dealing with the pirates. So they definitely don't want any more pirates coming back to Nassau and all this stuff. And, you know, the governor is like, hey, this war is going to come no matter what. And they're kind of upset that he's still dealing with this and they think, you know, it's all I'm done with. Let's move on as a nation for Nassau to, to keep going. And, uh, you know, he wants this thing to be done with. We see the governor's woman. I forgot her name, but uh, she is talking to the madam from the one who now holds the the, uh, the brothel. And I used to hold it as well. But we see that uh, she's trying to talk to her to get her on the board so she can get home. So that's all she's worrying about. Is getting home to see her kid and uh, you know so she's trying to figure something out trying to get her on the board hey I'll help you get on the board if you can get me home but then we see silver and Flint and uh, we see that uh, you know that another ship popped up near them and they didn't really see it's so kind of snuck up on them and it was the governor and we see that he actually has their men aboard because they actually sent men to Nassau to figure out where Maddie is and then they'll come get her but they got caught why they get caught because freaking billy was there billy knows all their routes and all that stuff and we see they start shooting them they start shooting all the guys and then we see maddie maddie's there ready to get shot as well and that's when silver makes his move he says go get it bring it up here we see flint is looking like what go get what what are you talking about and he brings up all the freaking jewels and he shows it to the governor and the governor doesn't shoot Maddie, puts her back down. And then he, you know, he goes off and they follow him. And we see Flint is like, yo, are you serious? They get into a big argument about how, you know, this is going to destroy the Alliance. We already had Catcher Freeman. He was already complaining that we can't trust the pirates. And now they're going to see that we, that we made deals and we're getting rid of all the money because we need the money for the war. And we see Silver's like, yo, I'm not going to choose this war over Maddie. It's all about Maddie. And he's like, you gotta be with me. You gotta, you gotta be able to be with me. I understand that you don't like it, but you have to be able to accept it. And we see Flint was like, all right, fine. I accept it. Okay. But we know, we know what's up. You know, he wasn't going to accept that. Even Israel, Israel's like, hey, you can't trust him. You can't, he's going to backstab you. You can't trust him. And Silver's like, nah, nah, you know, he would never do that. He's my friend. He would never do it. So don't worry about it. Israel's like, really? Come on now. Uh, but then we see Max and we see Anne and, uh, you know, they're talking and we see Anne's getting a little bit better. Not as good as we want her to be, but she's definitely better. Um, hands are healing up slowly. She tried cutting a piece of bread with a knife, not happening. She might not be able to fight from now on. She might be able to, she might have like no kind of grip strength in her hand after, after everything is all healed up. They're probably not going to fully heal. 
you know. But we see Max, and she is talking with uh, Eleanor's grandmother, and uh, you know they're talking about you know what's gonna happen when this is all done, all the moves are made, Flint is dead, Jack killed him, and what's gonna happen after? Who is going to lead Nassau? And she was like, I want you to lead Nassau, but your woman, you know, these crazy times is all about men controlling things. And she was like, well, there's one thing you can do. You can still control it, but you're going to have to marry. And she had a guy picked out and she was like, I need you to marry this guy, you know, and have him as the figurehead. You still make all the moves behind the scenes. You don't even have to sleep with him. You're a freaking asshole. You can get plenty of girls to do that. So you don't even have to worry about that. But, you know, it'd be great if you do this, you marry him. Let me know if you can do this right now. Because if you can, I'm going to send him down there. I'm gonna send you down there. You're gonna freaking talk to him, introduce, and you you know how to you know how to do what you gotta do. So, uh, you know, can we do this? Can we make this deal and go forward? And I would think like, would she do this? You know, I would. I'm thinking like, okay, Max probably would do it. Is she thinking long haul? You know, this is the best move to do. But we come to find out, she said no. And why she said no was very surprising. She said no because of Anne. Really? I'm very surprised because she wasn't really thinking about Anne all those other times. But as soon as she's seen Anne on the ship and how messed up she was, now she's thinking about Anne. Was she really thinking about Anne when she was hanging out with Eleanor and all this stuff? So I don't know. You know, don't backstab her in the first place if you really truly loved her. But I don't know. I I guess so. But we see that freaking Max told Anne, I was like, hey, the reason why I said no because then I know there's not gonna be any chance for me and you to be together, to be able to have a chance. And I'm like, wow, that's very surprising. Very surprising she said that. And we see Anne give her hand out and they're, uh, so they're gonna slowly, that kind of made up a little bit because we see Anne and she kind of knew that, hey, you know, she knew that Max was feeling for, you know, still have feelings for her and all this stuff, so. Uh, that's that's wild. That's very wild. I didn't realize she still was in love with her like that or if she ever was in love with her. I don't know. We also see Jack and his guy. They're trying to get to Skeleton Island because they heard from the madam about it and they're trying. They found a guy, but I don't know if he's freaking trustworthy, but they have to go and uh, hopefully they can make it there. <laughs> we see Flint and he's talking to the other guy. I don't know if I know this guy's name, but the other guy. Um, he's talking to him. He's like, hey, we got to do something. This is not this is not working. So we see them going down the bottom of the ship. They end up killing one of uh, his one of Silver's men and they start getting the freaking pearls ready. They start tying it up and stuff like that. You see the guy that is still alive. He picks up his gun about to shoot him. And guess who pops up? Freaking Israel kills the guy. And he was like, you know what? We, there's one or two things can happen. Either I kill you or you'll kill me. But yet, you know what? After all that freaking silver, he's still going to blame it on me. So you know what? I'm going to let him see, you know, you doing him dirty. So he won't blame me. So go ahead and go. So he ends up uh, letting the go. Flint and the guy bounce. And then uh, we see that Israel told silver and he's looking on the, uh, on the telescope and he sees them, you know, on the shore with the freaking jewels. And he's like, see, I told you. I told you he was going to do this and right before they're actually going to be you know joining in with the governor to make this deal so can't make the deal which is kind of crazy but silver ends up going onto the governor's ship and it's like hey um deal can't go at the moment here's why flint killed one of my men he took the pearls now he's on shore and uh i sent six of my best men to go get him and we see Billy's like, what else? What else did you say? And the other thing was to freaking kill him. Kill Flint. So, oh, uh, this is crazy. Mm, six men uh, to go after two. And they're holding, you know, they're pulling this big ass freaking trunk. So they're going to easily, uh, you know, slow them down. So they're going to catch up to them pretty quick. So, ah, uh, this is crazy, man. This is very crazy. Oh, a lot of a lot of stuff going on right now and uh ooh, someone's dying like i said someone is freaking dying so man that was the episode guys let me know what your thoughts of the episodes did you like did you 
did not let me know below man this is wild so thank you for watching guys make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you want to see this full length reaction check us out on patreon all right guys i'll catch you on the next one peace out